Hey tubers, I uh, got a little uh, bit of a surprise for you. I want to introduce you to my father-in-law. Now my father-in-law is not uh, your average sportsman. You know, some people will uh, like deer hunt, fish, and so on and so forth as a like a recreation or a hobby. My father-in-law lives it. He is an amazing dude. Um, I didn't know much of anything about hunting until I married my wife. And since then, me and my father-in-law are really, really tight. You know, we hang out. Don't as much as we used to because I just can't go and get into these adventures, you know, like I used to because of my health reasons. Um, but I, when I could go with him, you never knew what you're going to get into. When he goes out hunting, it's it's sometimes it's a 15 mile walk. Another thing he's uh, he likes to get into is just a survival week. He'll take just the basic necessities with him, and uh, have my mother-in-law drop him off, uh, and tell you know maybe a week later she'll pick him up at a specified location or whatever. That's just the way he does it. And this uh, the. What I'm going to show you, it's kind of a movie I made for him for Christmas. Just I'd, uh, when we go hunting, a lot of times I'd get just video him doing his thing, or like uh, one day after church, we went to the cabin. He's got a cabin by by a river um, near where he lives, and it, the cabin's just his getaway. One day after church, we went out there, and he caught a snapping turtle. You know, he'll set trot lines, go on survival trips. You know, go deer hunting. And some of this stuff, you know, and this is not really graphic, you know, as, as far as, you know, the skin and deer and stuff like that, you know, it's not a brutal thing. Uh, he's not a cruel man to begin with. You know, when it comes to animals, he, he, he doesn't want to take a bad shot. He won't take a bad shot. If he's going to shoot in an animal, a deer, whatever, he's going to make sure he gets it. So in the following clips, you know, you're going to see some things that may be a little surprising to you. I think there's a, a clip of him skinning a deer. It's been a long time ago since I made this movie for him. It was a Christmas gift to him. But at any rate, I, not everybody in Kentucky lives this way. He's a very unique individual. So um, hang tight. Hope you enjoy the uh, movie I'm getting ready to post here. So. Says it's the end of time and the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry. The interest is up and the stock market's down, and you're only getting mugged if you go downtown. I live back in the woods, you see, my woman and the kids and the dogs and me. Got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive And a country boy can survive Country folks can survive I can plow a field all day long I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn Make our own whiskey and our own smoke too Ain't too many things these old boys can't do We grow good old tomatoes and homemade wine And country boy can survive Country folks can survive Because you can't starve us out and you can't make us run Those women and old boys From the West Virginia coal mines and the Rocky Mountains and the Western skies. And we can skin a buck, we can run a trot line, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. I had a good friend in New York City. He never called me by my name, just Hillbilly. 
My grandpa taught me how to live off the land And his taught him to be a businessman He used to send me pictures of the Broadway nights And I'd send him some homemade wine But he was killed by a man with a switchblade knife For forty-three dollars my friend lost his life I'd love to spit some beach nut in that dude's eyes And shoot him with my old forty-five Cause the country boy can survive Country folks can survive California and South Alabama and little towns all around this land. And we can skin a buck and run a trot line and a country boy can survive. <laughs> <laughs> 